You have something to say? This building makes me feel as snug as a flea in fur. No, my mind is a sky without birds at the moment. Sky without birds. I don't remember that one. Yes, my friend. Sure. My brother and I never knew our real parents. We were found abandoned in a smelly shack by a soldier on his way to battle. We melted his heart with our fuzzy little faces, and he carried us to the nearest town. He deposited us at an orphanage, and that is where we spent most of our childhood. My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. <laughs> That must have been an interesting childhood. Mine was perhaps a little more unconventional than most, but I suppose all childhoods are interesting to some degree. My parents provided me with love and encouragement. Apart from the nightly training sessions, we were a normal family. Tell I me was more. bullied by the other Khajiit children because of my unusual color and markings. My mother showed me a handy trick with a rock and a glove. I was never bothered again. <laughs> yes, right. bullies should not be tolerated. They soon learned that being different is not a weakness. My yeah, father more. showed my brother and I how to use a sword. My mother taught us the bow. Happy childhood memories. Tell I grew up in a river hold, not far from Cyrodiil. My brother and I headed for the Imperial City to find our fortune when we came of age. I found love, for a time at least. My brother found death. Well, love? now that I think about it, maybe it was not love. It was brief and, as it turned out, one-sided. Anyway, all that happened later. Wow. Just describe most of my relationships. <laughs> I will come to that soon. There is a little more to hear first. Tell my me more. mother and father are both gone. They died protecting a trading caravan a few years back. I guess I am an orphan again. That means Sorry a great loss. deal. Thank you. What were your parents like? I suppose they were a bit of an odd couple, being an Argonian and a Khajiit, but they adored each other. And us. Despite their previous profession, they were good people. Tell me more. My brother and I found much work as sellswords. We never made it to the Imperial City, but we made a lot of coin. What kind of jobs did you do? A bit of giant killing here, a bit of witch slaying there. We did gold when it was offered, but sometimes we worked for nothing. It is hard to deny those in need whether they have coin or not. We made more than enough from those who could pay anyway. Well, that was very nice of you. All Where over did you Citadel, travel to take you? from the Gold Coast to the Gerald Mountains. It is a wonderful land, but quite tame compared to Skyrim. Those were happy times, traveling or working during the day, camping out under the stars at night. Life was good. That sounds nice. Tell I me more. awoke one morning to a lot of noise outside our tent. My brother staggered in, bleeding, and pushed our father's sword into my hand. He said that if I loved him, 
I would run. He used the last of his strength to rip out the back of the tent and push me down the slope beyond. Some Khajiit hitting locals had blamed us for a spate of robberies in the area and had decided to take the matter into their own hands. Twelve of them had snuck up on us in the night. My brother died, but I live because of him. Your brother must yes, be terrible. That morning I lost all that was dear to me. Unfortunately, I also uncovered a side of myself I never knew existed. His name was What's Fergus. Your name? I miss him very much, but part of me is glad he did not witness what became of me after his passing. I appreciate the sentiment, but I hit rock bottom and kept digging. Hey, he would have What's been stronger. Serana just say amigo? Is there Spanish in Serana? I was Tell recruited by a group of bandits a few years ago. That is when I discovered Skuma. It was the beginning of a lot of nastiness. See. I was Tell with a more. bandit girl for a while. Turns out she was using me. She wanted protection, not affection. As soon as she found someone more psychopathic, I was dropped like a sack of troll dung. Mm. I thought I did. We dulled each other's pain somewhat. She seemed like the only bright thing in a very dark place. Regrettably, she was a vicious, manipulative harpy. Hmm. I left the Tell bandits and took the only ally I had with me. He was also an addict, but we thought we had it under control. His name was Felix. He was a big fellow, good in his scrap. We became mercenaries together. After a few more. months, Felix and I had made a little gold, but our addiction to Skuma was getting in the way. No one trusts an addict, my friend. Especially not another addict. That's true. From time to time, my body does. But my mind is made up. I am never touching this stuff again. It helped me smother some painful memories. But it took my sense and reason as payment. It was not a fair mm. trade. There yeah, is Felix. not much to tell. He never spoke about his past, but it was clear he had also been through a great deal before becoming a bandit. That life did not seem to suit him. He had been an educated man at some point, I am sure of it. He was violent, but he had retained some dim vestige of honor. I wish we had met under different circumstances. One day, Felix more. burst into my chamber. Instinct took over and I reacted. His murder was my second last step on the road of dishonor. Trying to kill you was my last. My journal tells the rest. Read it if you want. I do not enjoy speaking of these things. That is my okay. story. Not a happy one, but maybe the happy stuff is still to come. Maybe so. Alright. Well, let's, uh, How let's does get it on to bear my uh, Being a vampire, I mean. And not being eaten. It feels pretty great, actually. Really? How so? It just does. I can't explain why exactly. Perhaps it's just the power flowing from it. But there are times where... Never mind. What is it? Something just came to my mind. But it's not necessarily something I'd like to share with you at this time. I hope you understand. I understand. Thank you. All right. Now, I know it seems a little boring to go through all these deal, these storylines and talking to these yes. people, but what did you, mean? you have to if you want to uh, unlock their quests and whatnot. Maybe not so much Serana's. 
Well, Serrano, yeah, there's two. So anyway, I just made a bunch of potions, and we are going to Let's get go to Bearland. In a cave. We just Anywhere, got through just with Dwarmerland. So let's go to Bearland. There was Dwarmerland from the last episode. Let's try out Bearland. <laughs> there were no Dwarmer in Dwarmerland. Plenty of their robots, but uh, Dwarmer. Let's see here. With that. Got to uh, equip Stinky. Oh. <laughs> pass up Bear Land. Yeah, that is it. Alright. Bear land, here we come. Hope it's not like the last bear hunt that was full of werewolves. Odd. a lot. Um, he does fart from time to time. Running low on shrooms. Alright, let's go. I hear another one.
Okay, was that it? Was that all bear land? Oh, uh, 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 yeah. uh. No, this is definitely, we just came through here. Let's the map right quick. Oh, no, nope, there's something. We gotta head north. Hang on a second, sir. Let me give you some room. Yep, that was all the bear land. Well, I mean, I was a little disappointed. But it is what it is. Land or Skeever Cave or Zombie Land, which would probably be trademarked. Oh, there's something out here. What is going on here? There's some kind of enemy. Oh, the freaking Get him, Stinky. Brock. Whack him in the back. There we go. Oh, cold fat. Can't have enough of that. Make a good gravy. What got going on here? Oh man. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hold it like that. Or sworn. This guy's a kind of douchebag. The dog died. I feel strange. What? Ah, my mind is vibrating in my skull. It feels like it is oh, at shit. the end of a hook. Okay, this is what I was talking about when you have to talk to Indigo to get his quest started. That I do not it. know. Wait, the sensation is receding. That was horrible. I'm okay. I have no idea what it was. All of a sudden, there was a bright flash, and it felt like my mind was being pulled out of my ears. Ow. I kind of feel that away every once in a while when I drink a bunch of wine. Do not worry that about me, my friend. Let us get back to it. 
Okay. Hang on one second. Somebody just sent me a work message. It is happening is it again. Happening again? My mind oh, is no. vibrating. It feels like it is on the end of a rope. Wait, I see something. A cabin, trees, a face. It is fading. It is under the rug. Ah! Thank the gods, it is weakening. Oh! It is over. Ow! I saw see? brief flashes of a cabin in the snow. It was surrounded by trees. What is happening to me? I don't know. It's under the rug. Yes, What's something small and shiny. A coin? A ring? No, I cannot remember. I think my brain is broken. Oh, man. No, Did you recognize but the cabin? something about the landscape was familiar. I wish I could remember where I have seen it before. Did you see anything A else? A man, perhaps? A bearded man. I did not recognize him. The flashes were very fast and confusing. Okay, you said bearded man, right? Not bearded clown. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Let's move okay. on. If it does happen again and my brain tries to escape through my nose, push it back in, please. No problem. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go check out some cave. I guess we already got it on our map now. Secret hideaway. Whoa, that was trippy. <coughs> Come on, Stink. Glitchy. I fell in love with a pretty bandit girl once. She robbed my heart, then ate it in front of me. Hmm. Right there with you there, buddy. What 
You picked a bad time to get lost. I do not stand a chance. And I got plenty of food on. I got these things off the early ones. I mean, we're ready to go here. There we go. Y'all can fight Stinky. Missed. Off with your head. Oh, you're screwed now. Got an awful deep voice for a woman zombie. Okay, we've been down here. <laughs> it sounds more like a cow. Brrr.
seen her on a zombie and my zombie and there's a whole lot of groaning going on. Whoa! Oh shit! Ow! Oh, I just got murdered. Oh. Blue's upset. Well, I'm glad somebody's upset about it. smoked his ass.
Sorry about that, everybody. Well, it's not like anybody's watching anyway. But, uh, yep, gotta take care of work. Let's get him, Stink. Bandits, they don't seem to be very prosperous. I'll take that. Let's go build up my food store while I'm here. Bad one. Ah! Man, this dude's fixed to kill me. <laughs> Why is my health not going up? Oh. Duh. Alright. Dragon plate insulated Kutra. Hmm. happen. Sweet roll. This dude's freaking eating like a king. Oh, this is where we came in at. And there we go. Yeah, look at this fella. He's a pretty one, isn't he? I 
Alright, well, I guess I'm going to... Trying to make these segments less than an hour. I've been told nobody watches those things for that long. And I'm like, well, I do. But anyway, I'll end the stream there and restart it. So I can upload to YouTube with the minimum amount of editing as possible. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying these little these little uh, new locations and new little new places that people have made and anyway I will end this stream and start another one here in just a little